I just want to say something really quick. We all drool when we sleep. Maybe not, but we, you know, we're all the same. We all wake up with messy hair. We all get zits. Yes, we do. Show and tell with Haley. Guess who gets acne? Uh-oh, all of us! We all got sunburnt yesterday, too. Yeah. Thank heavens for a little foundation to cover up those boo-boos. <laughs> not that we should focus on that, but we are thankful. My skin is not good, but do I care anymore? No, not really. Uh, just let's be real, people. The media wants us to be super put together people with put, like perfect lives and stuff, but we all roll out of bed just looking stinky. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you wonder, well, I got some big eyebrows, but hey, that's what makes me beauty purr. <laughs> Bless you if you look good when you wake up in the morning, because I know personally... I used to straighten my hair every single day in high school. You know how much time that took? Especially in North Carolina where it's humid. It just poofs out anyway, who cares? I have always struggled with the way that I look. I think every girl does, and I have my insecurities. I have my moments of doubt where I don't feel that pretty or don't feel beautiful, but I just have to remember that those things are so temporary. My big curly hair, that's just part of me and that's something that I should just love. Beauty is so much more than the messages that we see that are put out in the media. We're constantly bombarded with messages that make us feel badly about ourselves and make us compare ourselves to images and portrayals of beauty that aren't even real. I think we subconsciously compare ourselves to others all the time just because of what the media shoves at our face. You know, you read a magazine and you think, oh, I wish I looked like that. These people have been retouched, have been changed. We start to compare ourselves to something that has been created. It's not real. A little bit of wisdom that I can give everyone. This applies to girls and guys. You are a child of God. To Him, you're priceless and you're one of a kind, just important and beautiful. And if the world tries to tell you otherwise, then just don't listen because in God's eyes, you're perfect. You just gotta do your own thing. Whatever you think is beautiful is beautiful and stick with that. I would say that my relationship with God is what helps me to find beauty within myself and to not compare myself to what the world defines as beautiful. For me, God, that's who I answer to. That's who I have to live for. So why bother trying to please all those other people when they don't even matter? Real beauty to me, honestly, is purity, virtue, service, happiness. I don't think real beauty is anything physical. The most beautiful people to me are the people that are beautiful on the inside and you can really tell by their countenance how they live their life and through their smiles and their eyes. Those people that have purity in their eyes who have an amazing purpose and you have recognized that and lived that way. When I think of the most beautiful people that I know, it has nothing to do with what they look like on the outside. When I think of those women in my life that I just think are absolutely beautiful, it's because they are kind to me and they are generous and they're just good to everybody and they're confident and they stand out and they are beautiful. They make me want to be better. They're not trying to be sexy or thin or scream for attention in the way that they dress or look. That's what the world doesn't understand is that will never make you beautiful. People who are truly beautiful have a confidence and a light that everyone can see. The most beautiful people I know in my life are people who have great character. They just love. Real beauty is loving other people. I think it's easier to love and serve other people when you love yourself. I feel the most beautiful when I am being creative. When I am creating music or writing from my heart or singing from my heart and expressing myself in the way that I'm frosting a cupcake, believe it or not, creating these little masterpieces and you're like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. That really makes me feel beautiful and makes me feel like I'm standing out. I think I feel the most beautiful when I'm not thinking about myself. I don't know, there's something about forgetting about yourself 
and focusing on other people and reaching out to those who might not have friends or who might be lonely or who might not be like you. I think you find confidence and beauty in doing things like that. I feel the most beautiful when I help somebody else in need. I also feel beautiful after I pray, after a real sincere prayer where you just refocus everything onto the things that really matter and are thankful to God and everything He's given you and you just feel beautiful and die. It's hard to explain, but you just do. And I love that feeling. It's so much harder now for girls to grow up in this environment where so much value is placed on the number of followers you have or what you look like or the way you're perceived by other people rather than how you treat people or your character or how you act in certain situations, what you choose to do. Dealing with eating disorders, self-harm, those are very real issues that girls deal with today. And my advice would be, if you're struggling with something, to go find help. Talk to someone who loves you and who cares about you because, guaranteed, they just want you to be happy. I understand that you might feel down about yourself sometimes or you might think that you're not pretty or not beautiful, but I would encourage you to start working on those things that aren't on the outside. Start writing in a journal, start discovering aspects of yourself that you want to improve and strive to be better every single day. Strive to be a little more kind, to be a little more giving, to say thank you more, to love people more. And once you start extending your time outside of yourself, you'll find that you gain love for yourself and you gain confidence. And that confidence only comes through not dwelling on the things that you don't like about yourself. Remember that you are important and you are loved by so many people and God loves you. We all struggle with this at different points in our lives and we all have insecurities. Remember again that you are a child of God and you are his masterpiece and you are perfect to him. You are beautiful just the way you are and I know you hear that all the time but everybody has their own unique body, unique everything, unique personalities, and I think that that itself is beautiful. Focus on the things you love about yourself. When you look in the mirror, it's so hard, I just started doing this, but to really look at yourself, to not look at the things that you don't like, because my first instinct when I look in the mirror is to be like, oh, would you look at that blemish? But I would challenge you to change the way you think about yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, find the things that you like. Look yourself in the eye and be like, I'm beautiful. I'm gorgeous, I have so much to give, and I'm gonna go out there and give it to the world. Just pick something every day when you look in the mirror, say, I like my eyes or something, just to remind yourself that you are beautiful. Remember who you are on the inside. Remember how much potential you have to make a difference in the world. I love the quote, I think it's Lily Collins, I don't really know, or just the idea that your imperfections are the things that make you different and make you stand out and make you beautiful. We as women can be such amazing examples and influences on people if we choose to have the confidence and we choose to focus on the positive we can be such great examples and do so much good in the world. Anyone who's struggling with anything it's something that everyone deals with and so don't feel like you're alone. We've all gone through those awkward phases believe me. I have just recently, at 21, begun to accept some things about myself and really love them. And it's taken me a long time. I also would encourage all of you to follow an Instagram account to kind of help promote these positive messages of beauty. It's called Be Real Beauty. I just feature you guys. You can email me a picture and tell me what real beauty means to you. And when you strip away all of the stuff that's negative, underneath, I think all of us know that we're beautiful but sometimes we might need that encouragement. Basically, if you focus on your looks, you're just, you just won't be happy. And all of us are human. We all are imperfect. We all have bad hair days. We all get a blemish, or three or four, or 10, who cares? There's so much more on the inside that you can be focusing on and working on and working towards and becoming and that's the beauty of life and you know you just have to stay strong and you are
are beautiful. You don't have to change. We all have had raging diarrhea. <laughs>